to take a mental note on the texture here because I like what I did with this bridge and I want to con continue that on some of the the deck of the new bridge because I'm, I'm kind of stuck because we we have um, we have a limited palette because of the uh, slabs we don't we can't do smooth stone on some parts of the bridge because the only thing that it has is slabs and so that's going to be a little bit annoying and I, I was thinking about this tier two that we could it would be nice if we could put smooth slabs here but we can't in some places because this will be a smooth slab but i could not put a smooth slab here without doing the whole block so i'm not, I'm not sure how that's going to look so what did we say we were going to do we were going to um, go around and put some of the the bases of these in place hey eh? so let's get rid of some of the wood that we've got in our inventory we can clear some of this out here toss some of the extra stuff over here i'll grab some grass because i'm sure we're going to need some Dirt, stone, cobble, brick, stairs. What else do you think we might need? Probably some cracked brick, some cobble slabs. We're gonna need more smooth slabs. I feel like there's more to, to this. Oh, and a site. And then probably even a little polished and side. Oh, here's the here's the box I was looking for. This is the box I was looking for. So grab that, grab this, grab these, uh, get some more of those. We might need some mossy stuff, but I'll come back for those should I should I need them. Oh, coarse dirt. Darn it. I know I forgot one thing. There's always something. Because we've got these awesome coarse dirt slabs, which are the petrified oak slabs that are retextured. It's a fun little data pack recipe. Uh, they are in here, and I need some coarse dirt. Perfect. Okay, let's try that again. So I know that down the bottom here, we're probably going to end up putting some some stuff like cracked bricks on the corners and, and things like that. So things like having andesite and cracked bricks are going to help a lot uh, i didn't bring any smooth stone with me because i am a moron but i think we could also do things like have some coarse dirt maybe built up and then have some extra dirt around like this just to kind of make things feel a little bit more solid uh, and of course bushes are going to help tie these things into the ground as well but we can have it we can do a second pass right now i'm thinking mostly mostly stone and what i did over here was i was thinking that the andesite sort of looks like wet stone so i kept it down low along the bottom you know wet grass wet stone sort of feel so i'm thinking about some of these places where there might be more wear and tear it could be fun to have like some andesite there maybe a crack brick on top of it that sort of thing just to kind of spice things up a little bit. I don't know if I want to go cobble on the bottom here or whether I feel like um, smooth stone would be a little bit nicer. Thinking maybe smooth stone, we'll test it out over here. So the inn has uh, smooth blocks on the bottom and followed very closely by smooth stone. So for something like this, we could try doing this around the edges here and then having these smooth stone slabs or, or smooth stone blocks. I thought I saw something come by here, but it was the squid like this. And that's going to feel pretty substantial. Brightens it up a bit too, which is nice. And then we can also try to do two layers of smooth stone. And the nice thing about this is that because we're using andesite, we could also vary in just a little bit of andesite so it doesn't look exactly like the inn. So I'm thinking maybe three. So we'll try this on a third layer. That. There as well. And then here, if we wanted to do a little bit of a variation on the corners, we could come in with the andesite 
like so. Maybe not quite that much, but you get the idea. I feel like maybe we do this and switch this back. Sort of like that. Feel like I like this look better than this look. I want to put some smooth stone over here first though, just to kind of see. Hmm. Well, these smooth uh, double slab things look a lot better with the smooth stone than the uh, cobble judgment call. And we're just going to go around the whole thing. Although I guess we have to be careful. We can't just do a ring. It has to follow the ground. So it has to be like here, 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 here. And then on this block, I guess we would have to do both. We would have to do guess two of these like this and then maybe come around hmm see here what I would want to do is this this and this I think what I would do here is probably have it go straight and put dirt there like have that be the bottom that would be probably the thing to do so just fill in dirt there grass there and then these two would be the last the last of these i love having access to these full smooth blocks very cool i guess the only question is like would we want this one to also be smooth Or would we want there to be grass blocking it? Not a fan of, of this, but I think what we need to do there is just hide it and call it done. And I think the uh, I think we have to continue this across this way. Do we like that for the tower? Maybe we don't do smooth stone here. Maybe this is going to look better if it's a little bit different. Maybe this was built first. Like maybe this tower was the only thing here and then and then this all came later. That could be kind of fun, actually. We could still pepper some smooth stone in. I don't. I just don't think I want the whole bottom to feel so refined. I feel like this one needs to be a little bit more rustic looking. So we could maybe do this, that, get rid of these two back to brick put one there that and then on the front here we could remove this one that oops that's the same thing sometimes my pick block doesn't pick block and maybe do andesite here Ooh, no, don't like that. Let's do, let's do andesite, then stone brick, and then smooth. Like that, and doop doop. Also not good, we'll get rid of this too. And we'll put in maybe some cracked or something. I mean, there's all these layers of texture that you can do, I think as well. Uh, lots of people asking for darker blocks. So let's just take a look to see what a cyan block would look look like at the bottom here. Hmm, that is interesting. That is interesting. I kind of wonder whether we could put that somewhere else in the build too. It's a nice color. And what was the other dark one that I had? Great concrete powder. They're almost the same. Cyan and concrete powder. This, these are unchanged in my texture pack. This is the default Mojang 
beta beta texture pack. Yeah, that's not bad. That could work for a a stone. Thinking some of these I might want to break up. And I'm wondering if I could get away with andesite. Because I think polished andesite is going to be too obvious and too shiny. Yeah, a little bit too fancy when you want it to look kind of weathered. So what about gravel? So my gravel texture is a little bit different. I've removed a lot of the purple out of it. It's still got some warmer reds in it, but I've, I've taken all the purple out of it too. I think maybe we just stick to these um, double smooth stones and then break it up with coarse dirt and bushes and stuff. So the other thing I wanted to try uh, is um, a log. And I think I wanted to try something like, like this, that sort of look. And that's a spruce log, which is good because that kind of matches what we're doing. I guess we can grab some, some bushes. What would, I would say maybe birch leaves and some grass. I'm going to put some of this stuff away. I don't think I'm going to use the cyan stuff right now. And what was the other thing that I wanted to do? Oh, logs, right. So grab a couple of those. And do I have buttons? Uh, where did I want to put this? I think I want to tuck this right in there, the top part. So what I'm thinking is this And I guess I'll just temporarily put something behind it so I can do this. And I don't have a room even for a button in my inventory, so we'll throw those in the ground for now. Just to add a little bit of color. See what that looks like. Yeah, I quite like that. So we did bring some some bushes and stuff with us. So I think what I want to do is try and do a couple things. We can add some light. We can hide some light down here, which I think will be advantageous because we can do the old light trick. Uh, I think I'd be okay if this was green. So we can do this put down torch with a bush there and then grass bush and then we could do this whole thing try to have this trickle down a little bit there nope that's a nope feels a little bit flat but not really much you can do not much you can do maybe i guess we could put me um can this this can go on is this dirt or coarse dirt let's make sure it's coarse dirt and i think you can plant grass on coarse dirt can you not yes Perfect. Let's put that there and maybe have something there. Maybe the thing to do is actually to not have grass there, but do a bush that's shaped kind of like that. I feel like that works. And then we'll do grass, I guess, there. Is it me or is this really loud? 
feels loud to me. And I feel like I want to do a little bit more grass in this path. Like that. And maybe have another one here. I hate to get rid of the, the textures that have the uh, the stone, the pebbles in them, but it is what it is. But the mission here was actually not to to texture the ground and do all this. It was more to try and cement the bottoms of these things and, and get that feeling good. Now this is going to be inside. So this is not this is not the whole picture here. This is just the beginning. So maybe we can do is wrap up the stream by laying out the groundwork for this house sort of thing. Because I'm thinking I want to do like an angled roof. I don't know if I want this to be round or if I want this to be something that is uh, a little bit more of a square thing attached. So I'm thinking it's going to have some sort of roof that comes off to the side like that. And then we'll have to play around with what we want to do up here. This is obviously going to need to be landscaped. But I'm okay with it having like a steep drop off here. Like this to me is fine. I just don't know how big I want it to be. So this is all going to be inside. So we could anticipate that all of this is going to be a floor of some sort and just lay it in as bricks for now. Can always change this later. Probably going to do stripped dark oak. That's what I've been using for the floors in the build is uh, stripped dark oak. This could easily be a square building that comes off to the side and just has a slant roof that goes down like this. Or it could be like a little rotunda. And I'm kind of, I'm thinking a round thing would be kind of cool. I then, I just don't know what we would put on the roof. Because I don't want to, I don't think I necessarily want another peak roof. Unless it was a really low, a low peak roof. I'd have to look up the kind of things that we could have, have on it. Um, if it was square, it would be cool if we did like a diamond shaped roof, like a, a trap, not a trapezoid, but like a pyramid, a pyramid shaped roof. But we'd have to make sure that it was square. I also want to make sure it's large enough that you can actually go in through the door to the inside. And that doesn't necessarily mean that the door has to be on a right angle. We could make an angled door inside. Um, like you could actually go through this block as opposed to this block. So what would that look like if it was round? Ah, uh, I don't know, folks. I'm really thinking that this has to be has to be just a straight box. I don't think that making it round is going to be very good. If I did, it would be one, two, three, four, five. Just two of these. One, two, three, four, five. And then we'd have to do the rest like this. Maybe if we just haul it in a little bit smaller, just rein it in just a little bit. I don't want it to be four. It has to be either three or five there. How does that look if you approach it on the road? Yeah, that's pretty big. That sticks out really far. It's pretty robust though. I don't like that it hides the, the roll of the river. Like I, I worked really hard on getting the river to look good. So I think maybe we have to haul this in just a little bit. So let's try, I guess it doesn't have to be round round, but chances are that's the more than likely the best course. Okay. So that and then one, two, three, four, five corner block. We'll just switch so we don't run out. Like that. So we'll just take this in by a little bit and see if that makes a difference in the overall scale. It probably feels a lot less like a circle now, unfortunately. 
I like the size of it better. It's a lot smaller. I feel like it, yeah, it wouldn't, it still blocks the river, but it's not nearly as bad. I will probably have to mess with this on my own because uh, otherwise I'm going to be here all day. So let's just remove all these extra blocks that we know we're not going to need. And I'll leave the footprint there. Uh, I, if anybody has ever done this, let me know, because I tend to put kind of like blueprints or a half build or something. And when I'm not sure about something, I leave it there for a little bit as I'm working on other things. And I walk by it as I'm building and as I'm looking at the overall build. And I find that I'll just get a sense, like a feeling of this is good or this is not working. And then kind of just go from there. And so far... I am undecided on this particular part, but what I want to do here is just quickly bring these down and see what this looks like when it hits the edge. It could look very nice and feel like it fits in with this wall here, which could be cool, but we'll have to see. We're not going to be able to see a whole lot in the dark, so I'm going to have to go sleep. Not bad. It's a bit bigger than I want it to be. I don't know how to really fix that. I think, however, that is probably a good point to call it a day. I am out of time and it's almost dinner time and I'm a food driven human. And if you follow me on Instagram, you will know precisely why uh, I am. If you enjoyed this and you want to follow me, you can check out joelduggan.com. It's got links to all the cool stuff that I do. Uh, you can follow the Spawn Chunks podcast, which is where I talk about Minecraft every week with my friend Pixel Riffs and a fantastic community that surrounds it. And don't forget to tune into the Citadel Cafe. That is where this server got its name. I recorded a new episode with Megan Townsend earlier today. Uh, she's been even lurking in the chat here a little bit, and we'll have that out to you in the next day or so. Thanks for hanging out, folks. I will see you next time.